How is everyone doing? In this video, we are going to download two scripts and we're going to configure them to work the way we want them to work. Uh, first up is Player Location Display version 4.0. That came out in 2016, November 12th. Um, and what it does, let's take a look at the description. PLD displays the player's current in-game location on screen. Location includes street name and intersection, district name and region. PLD also displays the current in-game time. PLD allows player allows the user to toggle the size of the radar and provides some information, informative multiplayer features. Won't be messing around with the multiplayer features. Um, we're just doing LSPDFR stuff. Uh, so that's all we're going to be interested in, especially um, intersections, district name, and region. That's going to be big time. Uh, game timer is not really that big of a deal. Uh, it's in 24-hour time anyways. Um, so it's simple... Simple file, simple thing, does a simple, simple thing. Um, we'll download that. Actually, I already have it downloaded. It's right there. Uh, Grammar Police. We've talked about this in a video that we uploaded to uh, Saturday. Um, it's about a 20-minute video going over some of the testing of that in, a, in the T5 drive. Um, but what this does is just... Um, it's an improved speech recognition engine that uses predefined phrases, except, except in, in callouts, request backup, uh, change your uh, status vocally, hold the talk feature. Feature will prevent the dispatcher from interrupting you, which is very cool. I use that, and I recommend setting that yourself. Define your own actions and customize your dialogue. We haven't really gotten into that yet. I'm learning the default stuff. Um, automatically manage your availability for callouts based on status. Natively supports LSPDFR, API backup calls for code 2, 3, ambulance transport, defaults to stop to fed and ultimate backup when they are available. And that is perfect because that's what we use. Um, supports English, American, Australian, British, and Canadian. Um, we're concerned with English, American, and then there's some other things that it supports. Um, if you use CompuLite to look up license plates first, it might have different details than the subsequent plate check. All right, so we won't be using Compulate. Um, this guy is really cool. Um, like I explained in the other video, really, really cool guy. You can check that out. He's very um, available and open to suggestions and fixes. And our friend Jeffrey Gamer right there with uh, one of the added call sign to dispatch to the default preface. Not really sure what that means exactly yet because we're fresh with this, but um, it's cool to see someone that we know uh, and talk to and deal with on YouTube in the uh, in the version updates. So that's cool that he got his suggestion in there. And that shows you that if you do find something with the game that you don't like, if you talk to the guy, he might add it for you if he can. So that's really good. He has a Discord, so check that out. Um, we are going to uh, install version 1.2.4.0. The video we did um, this morning was version 1.2.3. And in 4... These are the things they added. I think the biggest thing that they added was this one here. Added pit maneuver allows you to adjust the success rate of the pit maneuver as well. Uh, pursuit status now has the option uh, of identifying actual pursuants. That's cool. Added investigating and in pursuit to API functions. Also very cool. So you can call on other plugins when uh, going into those modes. We'll have to look and see what all of that means. He did a very, um, I think he did a lengthy video. Yeah, almost 30 minutes. So what so we're going to do. I thought I would do something oops. a little different. The two major. Well, let's go back. That was goofy. Wouldn't let me control the video. So um, we'll, we'll look at that video after we get everything installed in looking good. And we'll check out the video and see what the features are. And we'll go and see which ones will apply to the to our needs and our, our gameplay. So let's go ahead and download. Boom. Agree. And that's the one that we were using. Uh, he doesn't even have he doesn't even have the new version set to main file yet. That's how fresh this is. I think it came out like late last night. Uh, download. I might have come out this morning. Download.
So we'll wait for a download. Very small file. 5.6 megs. Show and finder. All right. Grammar police. Don't know what that is. We're going to get rid of it. Oh. No, this is no longer located. Verify it. Okay. Why did it clear itself? Refresh. All right. Yeah, it's gone. It's a temporary download file. Um, PLD. Let's do this. Let's extract here. Boom. Documentation media. Let's check out documentation. Okay. So here are uh, information. Let's do what kind of file is this? It's a PDF. Um, you can open in Google Chrome. All right, so this uh, just gives you configuration information, what they what it does, et cetera, et cetera. And then it goes, uh, there's a combo key for toggling it on and off for screenshots, et cetera. Or troubleshooting and testing, like when you're trying to get the, the, um, the heads up display in the correct position on screen, you can use that to toggle changes, which is very, very helpful. So let's get that closed out. Media. Okay. Media, documentation, and then there's installation. It didn't grab the installation file. Installation files, that was weird. So let's... Replace the files in the destination. Sure. Sure thing, buddy. That was weird. Uh, the timestamps on it were weird. So we'll uh, we'll do that. That. So it, these just go in the main directory. The ASI and the configuration. So let's open up another folder. Grand Theft Auto folder. So Grand Theft Auto, nope, that's not it. So I got to make sure I have the right folder. So this is our folder right here. What we're going to do, Grand Theft Auto folder, those are the files. We're going to use our buffer space. That white buffer space, that's where you want to drop your files going to do that. Boom. Puts it right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the configuration file. So the configuration file is where you can make your changes. The only thing we're, con we're worried about is the location size of this stuff right here. So what we want to do is we want to move it up so that we can fit our um, grammar police status right under that, match it up, and have it looking all nice and neat. And I've got some settings already. So we're going to copy the settings. We're going to highlight everything here. And we're going to notice the values. Notice the size is 320, 1035. Notice all of that. Notice this, the text size multiplier, uh, 1.0. It's all going to change. Paste. Boom. We went 1.25. 1. We went 1,000. We went 500. 980, 320. Very, very small changes. But it's going to allow us to fit our status from grammar police under it. So that's ready to go. That's configured. Now let's go back to Grammar Police. That was in our downloads folder. So we can do that. Close all those out. So our old files. Uh, Grammar Police extract here. And with Grammar Police, we have a Grammar Police folder. Where is that at? There we go. So we got a Grammar Police folder with a README. 
So Welcome to Grammar Police. It was written a replacement for Vocal Dispatch. Completely killed vo- Vocal Dispatch. Uh, prerequisites. Stop the ped or traffic policer. Um, stop the ped or arrest manager. LSPDFR and Rage Plug and Hook. We have all of those. Copy contents of into your folder. Edit the settings here if desired. We're not going to touch the settings. Then it tells you how to configure your grammars. And then it has a video tutorial. Super, super cool. So we're going to take a look at that. All right. So it has all the files that we need right here. So basically, all you have to do is just drag that into your buffer space in your game folder. So we're going to do that right now. We've done this a million times. Go back to our playlist and check out um, our videos if you are not sure on how to do this or if you want all the multiple ways of doing it. We normally do it one of two ways. We go in each folder and copy everything ourselves, but with the way that this is organized, it's going to be a lot easier and better if you just took everything and just copied it into your buffer. Make sure those folders, those folders all align up and they will, uh, the pathways will, uh, they'll sort and go through the pathways on their own and drop the files where they need to be. So you just make sure you have Grand Theft Auto V, Grand Theft Auto V. You could go back out here and go here and just drag this over into your buffer space and it'll sort through and fill all the stuff in or you can just go in like this and do the same thing. So you get your buffer space. Let's adjust this so we have our buffer. Boom, there's our buffer zone. Highlight them all, drag them on over. Oh, 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 another thing. This has a Rage Native UI. Do we have Rage Native UI already installed? Rage Native UI. So there's one there already and it's providing us with one. How do you know which one to use? Simple. We're going to do all these things. I'm going to copy, use shift, shift select. So you copy that, sh- you select that, you sh- hold down shift and click the top one. You'll select all three. You'll click and hold and you'll drag to your buffer zone. Let go. Boom. Did its thing. Now we have rage native UI um, dot DLL left. So we want to compare the two. So you drop it into your buffer zone. It's going to ask you to replace. Instead of doing that, click compare info for both files. And it's going to tell you files already in the folder versus the file that you're trying to put there. So the file you're trying to put there is from 2017. The file that had already exists there is from 2018. So the file we have already is already newer. Um, we're good to go on that. So you can hit cancel. And then what you do is skip this file. So, rage UI, we had the one from 218. Boom. So we didn't need that one. We can go back and go back. We'll close that all out. Boom, boom, boom. So now we should be ready to go to launch the game and test out what we've done. So we'll see you in the game.